Hello guys, this is Kyle here. I'm going to show you how to make a jarred client for your server. So first one, what you want to do is open up your client, you know, where all the files are and stuff. And then what you want to do is, you know, after you edited everything in your Java files, you want to hit compile. And this pretty much updates the class files and uh, like when you run or execute your client, it chooses the class files, not the Java. So. Next after that, then uh, once it's all updated, you can make sure it's updated by looking at your class file and seeing when the time is, and it's 7.14 right now on December 18th, so that's good. And make sure that this is updated to your sign link. So after that, you could delete, or after that actually, you, wanna, gonna, you are going to copy your client. This is a backup, you know, just in case it messes up. So then you want to actually go into the backup copy. And then this is when you do editing. So first type dot bat. Then you want to delete all your batch files because you don't need those now to run your client. So then you just delete that. Then you want to. Then you're going to want to search dot java. And then this is all your java files. So then you're going to want to select all of those and make sure you're not deleting any class files because if you do, then your server's going to be messed up. The other class not even going to load. So delete all the Java files, and then after that, so now it should all be just dot class. Except for this, don't need that. So it should all be dot class now, and this is what actually makes your client run. Make sure that's there too, in the folder also. So now you're ready to make your actual jar. So now, what you're going to want to do is, for the output directory, put desktop or whatever, and then for the... Uh, Output jar file, it's pretty much like what your name of the jar is going to be. So then for the input directory, you're going to want to put all your dot class files. So that's right here. So it's, you want to select that folder, and I already got that selected. And then you want to manifest template. And for the main class, you're going to want to put your main class. And to find that out, just go into your client where the batch file is located. Click edit that. And then in the command strip, which shows what the batch is going to execute, the usually the last like phrase or word is the main class. But uh, for this, this main class is like a selection tool, and I don't really want to use that right now. So the actual main class for this, if you're not using that, is client. So then you're gonna want to open up your client, and then you know put that in. So then set manifest, then you could create. A, batch file if you want, I'm just going to, so then hit yes, okay, then you want to make sure, you know, run the client, make sure it works, and it's loading, I'm just going to make sure it gets the login screen, and then, you know, so then it's good, alright, so, right, so then what you want to do is you have to sign your jar, which pretty much is like copywriting it, so this one you leave alone, this you have to find your jar signer location. This is located in your JDK folder. So you want to go to your C drive. Then you want to go to your program files. My Java is located in 86, so I go to 86. Then you want to find your JDK. Then you want to hit bin and then find jar signer.exe. After you find that, after you find that, you know, just click it, hit OK. Now you're gonna to want to generate a key store. This is like the copyright certificate. Then what you want to do is fill it out like this. So this is going to be your key to a location. That's where it's also in your JDK. Like here's the jar signer file and then key tools right down here. This is what makes the thing. And then for this, this is what your key tool is going to be called. So just so just, uh, just you know put it at your desktop if you really want key tool that you can see whatever. So the key store Elias is pretty much like your username. So then just put, you know, that is whatever. You're gonna need to remember the private, public, and key store fields. So make sure you remember that. Public key is like a password. Remember that this is also like a password. And for mine, this is client. This is client, and this is client. And it's all case sensitive. So it's all lowercase. All three of these. Val validity days. Just leave that alone to that. Yeah, just leave that alone. So now for the camera name, you know, just put like client or whatever, RuneScape Privacy Client. Organization name, you put like the name of your clients or 
you know, whatever, I just put that. City, you don't really need province, you don't really need, I mean, you could put that if you really want, but you don't have to. Same with country, you know, you don't really need to have that, but it just kind of helps. So then you're going to want to generate it, wait till it's done, and then you're going to want to click key store file, and you want to find it on your desktop. So mine is right here. And then, so here's where your information comes in. You gotta put your client and your, you know, stuff in, username and password. And then you're gonna wanna hit sign jar. This is pretty much copyright again right now. So after that, after that's done, you know, it says like certificate will expire in six months. So yeah. So after that, so then it's pretty much good. So now just make sure client runs, you know, make sure it loads up. And then pretty much if it does, you're done. Now to like actually make your client downloadable by other people, you're just gonna want to, you know, uh, either upload your, you know, client.jar or whatever it's called that jar, or you could like make have a batch file with an archive. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you upload it and people are able to connect to it to your own IP, then that's fine. So yeah, guys, just showed you how to make a client with JarMaker. Hope this helped. Alright, see you guys.